Like we we could do like a like a YYC. Like you know how white people do the YMCA? You guys? Yes. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Hit me with a a Y. Okay. Y. <laughs> Let me see it. I'm a C. A <laughs> Are we? We're, oh. Yeah, we're backwards. Okay. Take two. Aye. Hey folks, welcome to the season finale of Cerveza City. Today we're at Collective Craft Beer Shop, and I'm joined by Andrew and Stacy. Thank you so much for being on the show. What are you drinking? Drinking Establishment Kolsch. Establishment Kolsch. My best friend's girl. My best friend's girl. Yep. I'm drinking Impeachable by Exhale. Cheers. 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 Typically, we're in breweries. Today, we are not. Explain to the folks at home what Collective is. So, Collective is a liquor store uh, that focuses on craft beer for microbreweries. Uh, we also have some craft distillers, uh, wine, and some cocktails. That is fantastic. Now, how many beers can people choose from at any given time? Well, that depends on the day, but um, heading into the big weekends, we usually have about 500. 500. You betcha. Can we just have a moment of silence for something so beautiful? <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Do you think we could have like a beer marathon? Like we could just drink them all straight? Like we wouldn't even go to bed. We would just drink beer until we tried every single one of them. Maybe a week? Do we need a week? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We could, we could try. We, I believe in you. You believe in me? Yeah. yeah. You got to carry the team. Well, t as a as a team, as a, as a collective team, nice. We can do Ooh. it. Yes. <laughs> you were both born and raised in Calgary. I was also born and raised in Woo! Calgary. Right, represent. That doesn't happen. I think we're the only three in the entire city for, sure. for Maybe, that to be yeah. a thing. Right? Yeah. There's no question here. I just, we need to make sure everybody knew. Yeah. Yeah. We could do like a YYC. You know how white people do the YMCA? We could do like a YYC thing a YYC. here. You, you see? Thing? Do you see? Sure. Do you yeah. see? Yeah. Hit yeah. yeah. me with the Y, Stacy. Okay. Damn. We'll go backwards. Are, are well, we? Why? Why? Let's see. Nailed it. <laughs> there you go. Let's go, we're white. Anyway. <laughs> I want to know about our community tap here because it's a great initiative, but not only that, the featured tap right now is from season three, episode one's Revival Brewcade. Tell me about it. Yeah. So uh, about a year into our business, we decided that it was always a part of our business, but we were finally at a place where we felt confident day to day running our business and that we wanted to introduce a, a community tap. And so the community tap, um, we choose a nonprofit organization that is based in Calgary. Uh, they get three months of fundraising and every month we partner with a local brewery and then we donate a dollar a liter, that brewery donates a dollar a liter, so it's two dollars per liter sold on tap number one goes to that charity. That's incredible. And like I said, right now it's Revival. What is the beer? Right now it's the Fill My Cup uh, Chai Coffee Porter. Is it collective certified? Is it, is it approved? Indeed it is. It, it yeah. sure is. Are you saying that because you have to? Or? No. <laughs> no, it is good. it's delicious. It is actually really yeah, good. I know. Yeah, I can't drink it past noon right because of the coffee the yeah. caffeine intake but it's delicious not only that but like justin and jason are incredible guests i love yeah. those guys at revivals yeah yeah justin will come in here and haul in 50 liter kegs all on his own and i'll be like hey you want a dolly he's like i got this <laughs> have you seen that guy hey, he needs to hit the gym jeez slacker <laughs> brutal i mean if you go okay, back and beer. watch episode <laughs> one of this season and you see me next to him, oh. it's a rough go. <laughs> it's a rough go. I need to get on the Justin workout plan. <laughs> kegs. Kegs. Yeah. Just lift kegs. <laughs> Do 
keeping with the theme of you two being incredible people, <laughs> I want to talk about kid sport because it feels like it's something that's important to you. I know I played sports growing up and I had the privilege to be in the best programs and it really molded the kind of man I am today. So tell us about kid sport and why it's relative to what's going on here. Yeah, um, not only was it just another opportunity for us to give back to an amazing organization doing amazing things for kids, um, but we had to utilize it when Devin was younger. And so um, not only did it give Devin an opportunity to play the sports that he loves and that he really flourished at, but it also gave us the opportunity to feel like we were providing for our child and giving him what he needed because not everybody has that privilege. And so um, we have a lot of bottles and one-time use kegs and we just thought instead of our garage getting filled with them because we're busting at the seams here, we, we were just looking for another opportunity to give back to, a, to an organization that's doing great work. And for those folks at home that don't know who Devin is. Devin is our son and he works here as well. <laughs> I need to know, have you tasted every single beer in this establishment? That would be amazing, but not every single beer. Not every single beer. I think you guys need to hire an employee <laughs> that is going to taste every beer in a hurry, cracks wise fluently, and will probably drink more than he sells. What do you think? Mmm, that's tempting. Mm, do you know a guy? I know a guy. Really? Yeah. He's wonderful. Really? He's, mm. Is he handsome? No. Oh. That's okay though. <laughs> Get him to send in his resume. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll keep it on file. He yeah. runs this beer show. It's not like it's not a big deal or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> Your beer's empty. Yeah. I know. We noticed that. Yeah. Before we get more, because I'm going to be there too, okay. I need to know, do you have a favorite amongst your 500 children? Ooh, um, pretty much anything local, unless we made it. Right, yeah, no, completely <laughs> agree. <laughs> He's probably never going to see this, it's fine. <laughs> There is some cohesiveness between Collective and Cerveza City. We're both trying to highlight epic craft breweries. Now, there's one that I would be remiss if I didn't talk about as a Latino man. Exhale Bruco. They got the impeachable on tap and in can. They are literally making fun of Donald Trump. <laughs> now, the do-it-all market brewer owner, Christina O, describe her in three words. Christina, uh, passionate. Knowledgeable. Um, and anybody that's been in a room with her, excitable. Very excitable. Yeah. Yeah. I actually sent her this question beforehand, and uh, all she said is, "They should answer, good cunt." <laughs> and that was her words, not mine. <laughs> Fair enough. And that would be super accurate. <laughs> Football is a big deal in the Forno residence, so I need to know what Super Fan Sunday is. Do you want to talk I'll about take it, it yeah. yeah. Uh, well, then, if you're a big fan of NFL football, you probably get really, really excited come September. Right? Yeah. You leaves start changing and everything, you start hearing that NFL film song in your head, you just get pumped for football season. So, we put in Super Fan Sunday to kind of encourage people to like celebrate the kickoff of the season and then keep it going hopefully all season long and just wear all their team swag no matter how good or bad their team is. <laughs> uh, and uh, and then they get a discount on any growler fills. Okay. If you're repping your team. All right, now you're a Bengals fan. I am. I'm an Eagles fan. Okay, they played this season and they tied. Now yes. with that being said, I just live down the road from here and I do come in here and get beer every once in a while, what are the chances we convert you to be an Eagles fan? Oh, there, that's zero chance. Zero chance? Zero chance. Are you sure? I mean, I know the Bengals are like the it team and there's a huge bandwagon and everything, <laughs> but um, no, that's not a thing. They're terrible. I know. <laughs> they're, they, they're pretty much always terrible. I just, 
I've loved them forever, so I'll okay. be a Bengals fan for life. Yeah. Let me see if I can change that. Brittany, can I get that thing real quick? Here, oh. I got you a little gift. Oh no. Now, because I have every intention of you being an Eagles fan and not oh. a Bengals fan, <laughs> we got you <laughs> an Eagles t-shirt. Oh my goodness. And it says, Cerveza City Certified, <laughs> part of Craft Island, and Collective is a number Quan fan. Oh, oh my goodness. That is so cute. That is Thank yours. you, man. Wait a minute. Smells like mediocrity. I was gonna say it oh, smells like wow. a winner. Personally, wow. I feel like it smells like a winner. <laughs> Andrew, might I compliment you on your wardrobe change? You look fantastic. I feel no, no, no. Getting back to the question, <laughs> I want to know about the logo because there's something interesting going on here. So the cool thing about all of our branding is that Andrew does all of our in-house branding and design. Uh, that was a previous life of his. Um, so there's three C's in it. There's uh, the middle C is Andrew. The C that encompasses him is me. And then the big, long, lanky C is Devin. Um, but also with the C's, uh, it stands for collective craft community. And so when we talk about us being a collective, us being craft, meaning small, um, independent, hardworking entrepreneurs, and then um, a, a community, it's beyond the store. We actually want to impact our community in a really positive way, and we want to be a part of that and, and constantly supporting people to be amazing. I always thought Triple C meant Cerveza City certified, but I guess their answer is all right too. <laughs> you know, that may be. I'm not trying to do your job for you or anything, yeah, but if you want to, like, we can license the name out or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're already giggling about this question. <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna roll. That's it. fine. We have a recurring theme of hip hop music on our episodes. It's been featured throughout the entire show. And uh, I was scrolling through your Instagram, and then you guys just happened to caption something saying, we're ready to bust a bus into the weekend. Now I want to know, let's just talk a little hippity hoppity, you know? A little, uh, the rap we use hick. Mm. It's better when you pronounce all the letters like white people do, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> what is the best Buster Rhyme song? The best Buster Rhyme song? Like my favorite Buster Rhyme song? Your favorite Buster Rhyme song. Oh, oh man. Uh, my favorite Buster Rhyme song. It's a little bit of a deep cut. Mm -hmm. It's not like an actual single or anything. Okay. But when. Well, I won't say how old I was. Way back in the day, <laughs> the first time I ever heard Busta Rhymes was before his album came out. I heard him on a Funkmaster Flex mixtape, and he was freestyling over a Raekwon, like, RZA beat, and I just lost my mind. Look at this white boy! Yeah. <laughs> that's impressive. I would have gone with Don't You with the Pussycat Dolls, personally, but that's just me. Yeah, Pussy Cat Dolls. Yeah, I would have guessed that. Yeah, you would have guessed that. As an Eagles yeah, fan. Pretty hardcore. <laughs> That's it. Collective is officially Cerveza City certified. You Woo! got the t shirt. That camera right there. The last 60 seconds are yours. I support local, support small. Come on into the shop. We are not only a family-run business, but we also support all the local breweries around here. Uh, come on in and support a nonprofit organization by purchasing off Tap One. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh my God, we're so wet and we can't dance at all. <laughs> Tune in next week, just kidding, that's the season finale, good night! Woo! <laughs>